Cocktail, delivering happiness at, at South by Southwest. I'm here with Dave Lifson, and we're talking about your startup, Postling, and everything all about what you're really driven by and what really inspires you. So really, first off, thank you for joining us here. Can you first off tell us a little bit about what you do day to day with Postling? Sure. So uh, I'm the founder and CEO, and uh, Postling is an online marketing platform for small businesses. So if you're a restaurant owner or a doctor, you know we try and put all the tools you need to market your business in one place to keep it real simple and easy for you to do. I'm inspired by small business owners who like really need as much help as they can. You know, like, technology is confusing to them. You know, they're super busy dealing with clients or customers or suppliers, and they. Yeah, they know that they need to do online marketing to drive their business, but they're not good at it and they don't really enjoy it. So what we can do is make their lives simpler by, you know, even five minutes a day, you know, really makes it all worth it. I worked at Amazon for two years and fell in love with Jeff Bezos. The guy is the smartest guy I've ever met. Um, just really inspiring, you know, like how like values based he is in the way he runs his company. He knows that certain things will always be true, even a thousand years from now, and he focuses on those things. And I'd love to get anywhere close to that. We get approached by small business owners often where they say, you know what, I've been doing Facebook for six months or a year now, and I don't know if it works. You know, so we've been really focused on like, trying to prove that their online marketing is actually making them money. Technologies that are interesting, I would say, um, Recommendations through data aggregation is really interesting right now. Like what Netflix is doing with movies, Amazon's doing with products. I mean, that's, it's, the opportunity is expanding really rapidly because more and more places are collecting data without you having to do any work. People are making posts all the time on Twitter or through Instagram, right? And people are walking around so you know where they are. And through all of that data, you can actually do some cool stuff. I'm very focused on, you know, what does the, like, regular old small business owner need? and. What's the most frustrating to me is that they have they work so hard trying to get people in the door, right? They spend money on yellow pages or billboards, or whatever it is, and then once they're in the door, they have no way of knowing who those people are so they can get them back, right? And I think it has a lot to do with the point of sale systems and how cash registers are still 30 years old and no one really knows who is actually buying the product. Made a couple of mistakes in the last few years. Uh, one of them was we started a totally separate company before Postling. And it was this company called Waffle, and it was like uh, Etsy for bed and breakfast. You know, we built the whole site and launched it, and the idea that we were, we were going to make money through like an open table for these bed and breakfast owners, charging for reservations. And uh, what we realized when we went to build the technology is that while we could build the tech, actually getting anyone to use it was going to be too difficult, right? Too expensive. And if we had stopped to think for even five minutes about doing that, you know, we could have probably saved ourselves six months of time. The biggest advice I can give is just start, you know? So we spent probably three months building plans, right? We had specs, we, you know, were sketching out what the database would look like. And uh, at the end of the day, we still had nothing. And so the big lesson for us was to tell the difference between work and progress.